Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of LTC USD. Right now we're at fifty-two dollars ninety-six cents. We're down zero point six six percent. It is eight forty-four a.m. Eastern time. It is October nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. So I want to put that out there. And what we're going to look at today is just Litecoin. I want to go over a quick, just little tutorial or video for you about Litecoin. What I'm seeing in the charts right now, guys. The main thing I can tell you is just to stay cautious at this point. We're in a intermediate term downtrend. The downtrend's been very strong, and basically what's happening is we've broken down out of a head and shoulders pattern. So you can see right here, this is our left shoulder, and it came on increased volume, and that's what you'll always look for. Left shoulder always has the most volume. Then we look up at the head here, and we have this medium volume, which makes sense. And then we had our right shoulder over here, as you can see there and the volume was even less. So that's typically how it goes. The left shoulder will have the most volume than the head, than the right shoulder. And what happened was we broke down through this neckline here. You can see we broke down on heavy volume on a strong candle. And what I'm looking at now, guys, the reason why I'm saying just to stay cautious at this point, we have not broken out of this downtrend. What we would need to do is break out through this downtrend line with conviction on heavy volume and what you would wait to see is if we can get some type of three percent to five percent close up above that trend line on good volume for it to be confirmed if we ended up breaking out of here guys the first overhead resistance i'm going to look at is 63 dollars and 61 cents so that's going to be this previous area of support remember guys whenever you have that support and you break down through it'll act as new resistance for you the next spot I would look at would be up here around $78. That's if we start to get a break out to the upside. Because what we need to do is start to make higher highs and higher lows. Right now we're having lower highs and lower lows. So we're at a dangerous spot here if you're a person who is holding Litecoin or wants to go long on Litecoin. Another thing I'm paying attention to that I want you guys to be aware of, remember we're very correlated to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin drops down hard, most likely Litecoin and the altcoins are going to drop down as well. Are there strange things that happen to where you know the Bitcoin dominance could be dropping and it, people could be putting their money in the altcoins? That can happen, but you just want to be very careful because what this almost looks like as well, guys, do you see this mast? and then we move sideways, this almost looks like a bear flag that's forming as well. So whenever you have a bear flag, you're going to have this mast on heavy volume, and then the volume's going to dry up just like we're having now as you move sideways, and then you can actually have another leg down. And if we are to end up having a bear flag out of this, which I want you guys to plan for as well, remember we plan for the upside, the downside, and the sideways on this channel. And if you like what we do, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like me being real with you and just really showing you price action, I'm going to be that guy for you. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you we're going to the moon tomorrow. Do I have confidence in Litecoin in the long term? Absolutely. But right now we are in a wicked intermediate term downtrend that's been in place since basically the middle of June. And now we're going into the middle of October. So this is an established downtrend. and We need to break out of it as soon as possible. But if we are to have some type of bear flag here, I just want to show you what this could do. So what we'll do, we'll extrapolate this down. And this could end up taking us, guys, if this is a bear flag, we could be down to 20 five dollars before we even know it that's how fast it can happen and that's what usually happens with another leg down I'm not saying this is gonna happen but textbook wise this is looking like a textbook bear flag if we do end up breaking to the downside remember with patterns what you have to look for is that confirmation breakdown we can say okay this looks like a bear flag but it's not a bear flag until we break down through and we have that confirmation but that's how low we could end up going guys if we don't break out to the upside fairly soon here because what what we've been doing is fighting now for let's see guys since September 25th 2019 we've just been moving sideways right now after this fall that we had from around that 70 75 dollars so it's significant I mean we've really just been moving sideways waiting on Bitcoin and now that's why I said we got it either wait for that huge breakup or we're going to have a massive breakdown. We really can't go sideways too much longer. Now, if we just drift sideways out of this, then that will be a whole new scenario and I'll come on here and talk to you about it. But right now, upside targets are going to be $63.61. Then it's going to be around that $78 and that's if we do break out with good volume and have a candle close 3 to 5% up above that trend line. To the downside, what I would be looking at, guys, is for our 0.78 six Fibonacci to hold. So we're going to do our Fib retracement. We're going to go from our swing low to our swing high. And this just shows you the importance of taking profits. 
Guys, if you're a hodler, then do what you do, but this is for people who want to trade as well. Think about this. So we made this beautiful move all the way up here, right? We went from $22 to almost $150. Whenever you see something going straight up like this, that's when you typically want to take your profit, guys, okay? Because this is a parabolic move. Whenever you chop up that fast, that aggressively, a lot of times you're going to fall on the backside, and that's exactly what happened. If this trend was going to continue, I would have expected some type of bou a bounce off the 0 0.236, which would have been extremely bullish, or the 0 0.382, or the 50, or even that 0 0.618, which we just fell down through. You can see how we had a little short-term uptrend, got to the trend line, and then just fell back down, guys. So this is where you have to be careful in these situations. But what I would do is look to see if we can find any support around that 0 0.786, which is going to be around $49.00. 28 cents but this is why i like to trade this market i told you i got into this market as a hodler but after i started reading charts and learning how to do this stuff i mean you got to take your profits guys look what happens all this is disappearing so of this entire move here we've almost retraced down 78 percent of the entire move you don't want to lose that much profit guys or if you're buying you know up in these areas here at 109 dollars now you're looking at 52 dollars that's just devastating so that's why you have to have targets. That's why you have to have a plan for the upside, the downside. And you have to be prepared, guys. Anything can happen in this space. You know, I could go down and work out in my gym, come back up, and we could, you know, be back up here testing $80. That's how the cryptocurrency space is. We could have a beautiful break up here, almost look like a BART pattern. The whale step back in. That's a possibility. But... I go off the technicals. I don't go off hope anymore. I used to just go off hope and say, oh, well, I think this is going to do this or I think this is going to do this. I'm purely technical now, guys. And that's what I'm trying to bring to you because I've been screwed before in this market and I learned from my mistakes and I want to help as many people as I can make smart decisions. So right now to take a long in this situation, you're bucking the trend, you're fighting the trend, and that's a bad spot to be in. And now what I wanted to show you here, we're going to go to our 20 EMA. So this is a little bit more of our short term to intermediate term moving average. It's down. It's acting as overhead resistance in purple, right? And I'm going to clear these off so you can just really see. So that's down, guys. The 50-day moving average, intermediate term trend chaser here. It's down. It's acting as overhead resistance, right? And then we'll go to the big daddy, the 200, which I talked to many people about here. You can go back and look at the videos when I said we broke down through this 200. Really pay attention to it. If we lose that, things can get really nasty and that's what's happened. It's at 88 it was at around $88 when we broke down through and now we're looking at $53 guys. These things matter. Technical analysis matters and that's why I want to help teach it to y'all so you can learn it and you can make these decisions for yourself so you don't have to be stuck in some coin and be at the mercy of the market. You know, I used to be married to coins too. I understand, but as you continue to learn trading, you will get so unemotional about them. Uh, truthfully, guys, whether it be Litecoin or Bitcoin or Ethereum, yes, I want them to go up and I want there to be a bull market, obviously, for everybody. But I can't change that in the market, so I have to trade with the market. And right now, the market has been down. So if you're hodling in a down market, you're going to get crushed and you're at the mercy of the market. So right now, say you're hanging around down in here and you're still in your positions. You know, guys, it's a tough spot to sell because of what's happened. I'm not telling you to sell by any type of means. You know, you can always average down and keep going if you're a long-term investor, but you know, this is a scary spot to be in after we've fallen like this and we're below all these moving averages. We're below every single moving average, guys. I believe even the 9 EMA. Let me pull this up here. Let me get these off and we'll look at the 9 EMA, which is a short-term moving average. So this is how I like to use them. You can see that's acting as overhead resistance. So for people who say moving averages don't matter, they do, guys. They really ride us hard either to the upside or the downside. And right now from the 9 all the way to the 200, we're getting pressed down and having overhead resistance. So that's the dangerous part of staying in a coin. Now, hodling in an uptrend is a beautiful thing. You know, guys, if you're getting in, let's even say right here, let's go to the 50-day moving average. We'll get the 9 off here. And say you're using the strategy, I'm going to buy when we're above the 50-day moving average, trading above it, and I'm going to sell when we're below. So that means you would have got in right over here on the second candle close at $31. You would have been in. You're saying, I'm in. Now, 
right down here, we ended up breaking down through. But what a lot of guys will do, they'll use a 5% rule. If you break down by 5%, then you get out. Because sometimes the market makers can push you down past that moving average a little bit, and then you can actually get moving back up. But say you even went for the theory of, guys, as soon as we break up above, I'm in. As soon as we break down, I'm out. You're looking at about $32 buying in. We would have sold out at about $70. That's a beautiful trade. That's an amazing trade. That's what we're trying to get, those big, thick chunks of moves. Even if we don't buy the bottom or we don't sell the top, that's a beautiful thing to be. So say, guys, even we sold out there. We see a candle close up above right here. We're back in at $72. We end up selling out here at about $119, another huge chunk. And now, guys, we've just been below it this entire time. So that's what, why I'm saying it will be significant if we start getting candle closes up above that 50-day moving average. That's going to be very important for us. And now to look into the indicators real fast. Just want to look at a couple here. So let's go to our relative strength. Relative strength, we're at 37 right now. Remember, guys, anything under 30 is going to be that oversold territory. Over 70 is going to be overbought. So right now, there's plenty of room to go to either direction. We've been as low for Litecoin on the RSI. We have hit 17 before we've gotten that low. So there's plenty more room to the downside. There's plenty of room to the upside. We're just waiting for this break, and then we'll follow determining what happens. That's why I said I'm just sitting in cash right now waiting to see what happens with Litecoin because right now I don't want to be in a play. That's just me. I don't want the market to be in control of what I'm doing. Right here it's looking like we may get a downward bearish MACD cross histogram pointing down. We're starting to tick down. That's not a good sign. And then we'll look at our stock RSI. Stock RSI, we do have a bullish cross there, so that's decent. We're at 15.44, so there's plenty of room to upside, downside, but it's nice that we are getting a little bit of a cross there, but we would need to find follow-through, guys. And whenever you see the candles getting very tight, like they are right now, that means that a break's going to come. I can't tell you which way it's going to come, but a break's going to come. So just remember, guys, the trend is down. The moving average is down. You don't want to buck the trend. As cliche as it is, the trend is absolutely your friend, and I've learned that. And that's what I want to teach people here. I really want people to learn technical analysis so that you can do this stuff on your own and that you guys can also point stuff out to me and say, hey, did you check this out or did you see this? And I want to be a team here together with you guys. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I apologize for making this a longer video, but there's just a lot of stuff I need to get into here with you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you get something out of this. Like I said, guys, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I just want to be real with you. So let's wait to see which way we break. Then we'll make our moves. God bless.